Last question before we move on. Can we do this again and see what happens when you wire the speakers out of phase? Great question. Uh, what do you think, Ern? We got time to do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he says. So, so you want to do both enclosures? Why not? We got some time. This might go a little long tonight, guys. I hope you don't mind. I know I don't. All right. So let's go ahead and put the... Uh, RTA back on. I'm going to go ahead and reset all the frequency limits to where we had it before. All right, so right now we're going to do it with just a sine wave. Uh, what are we at for SBL-wise? I can't see it. We're at 98 dB. All right, so if I disconnect one woofer, it should drop down to about 93 dB or so, right? What are we at for dB? 93, 94, there you again. So let's go ahead and wire this out of phase, which basically means one woofer is pushing while one is pulling. 81. So we're from 98 dB to 81 dB. So we've lost 17 dB of output, and that is huge. Uh, look at the RTA. You notice how it dropped very dramatically on the RTA. Now, that is with a tone. Let's do it with paint noise. So. Actually, let's put it back into phase. So we should be back about that 98 dB. There we are. Let's go to pink noise. And adjust the output accordingly. All right, so we're at 95 dB with them playing in polarity. All right, let's do this again. Now, with pink noise, 78 dB out of polarity. Let's try not to short it out again. And 95 in polarity. So here again, about 17 dB gain. That's why it's very important to make sure your polarity is wired correctly. So we got 17 dB difference with the uh, common chamber sealed box. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with the separate chamber box. Let's go back to pink noise. Ninety-five, ninety-six dB. There you have it. Almost the exact same output and almost the exact same difference without or with the divider that we had without the divider. So basically, what we've learned here, you know, talking about with and without the divider. So let's do the, the sine wave. And that would be clipping. In case you guys want to hear what clipping sounds like at 39 hertz. So there it is unclipped. That is woofers out of phase, 78 dB for the output with the sine wave. And 97 with them in phase. So building boxes. What, what are my suggestions? And, and guys, there, there's no right or wrong. Take anything you want away from this. I always recommend a separate chamber for woofers, especially sealed, actually always. Now in a sealed box, if the woofers are exactly the same and they, they always play, one doesn't become unhooked or you don't blow one, they're gonna be pretty close to the same output. One of the difference you might notice that without the divider, if you don't have bracing in the box, you may get some cabinet resonances as the cabinet actually vibrates. So if you're going to you know, go ahead and build a divider for your enclosures, I see a lot of people taking a lot of extra time to put windows in the dividers. Um, that actually just adds a whole lot of work for you guys, in my opinion, and it's not going to affect the output whatsoever. It, it will affect it quite a bit if one woofer quits playing. So that was pretty much our fun with sealed enclosures with uh, dual chambers or single chamber, mono chamber.